Hello out there YouTube people. Uh, what I'm going to do for you in this video is I'm going to show you how to add a timestamp in Google Docs spreadsheet in the same way that you can in Excel. It's not as easy as it is in Excel but it is doable. Um, you just need to know what you're doing. I figured this out after trolling through a lot of forums of people saying that you need to be writing um, code to do it or these very complicated work workarounds um, but it actually turned out to be quite simple if you know where to look. So it's dead easy. What I want it to do is I want when this um, spreadsheet that I've set up, which is just a, a tracking spreadsheet, when this changes from no to yes, I want a date to appear in this box here. Okay, now I've actually set it up with a couple of errors that are going to happen when I do this to show you how to work around them as well. Because uh, it's going to go wrong at first and I'll show you how to fix that. So, first things first, I need to install a script to allow the timestamp to work. So you do that by clicking on Tools, going to Script Gallery. So it's a gallery that someone else has, or, well, it's a script that someone's already put together and put in the gallery. And if you just scroll down a bit, you're looking for the one that's called Last Updated, which is this one right here and you just click on install. Now this will take just a second, there we go. You have to authorize it um, to mean that it can change your spreadsheet, which is what we want it to do. And there we go, that's now authorized. Close that, and bosh, we're away. So I'm now gonna close the script gallery. This will now work, I've installed it. It's all about just getting it to go where I want it to go. So now if I change this here to yes, this means a student's achieved. They've updated that, I press enter. I'm gonna get a date goes here. Now that is in the wrong place. I want it in this box. So I now need to make a little change to my spreadsheet to get that to work. So I'll just undo that. Okay, so I want it to go in this one. It goes in the last column, in the last cell of the, the last column in um, your spreadsheet. So it's going to go here when I tell it that this is the last one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in date assessed in this box. But because this is now the last column, as soon as I change this, it's going to change it to a date, which is why I've left this in, because it's, I'm going to show you how you can edit a cell, and then if you don't want the date to come up, you can just make it go away. So I'm going to press Enter. There's the date. I don't want the date. I want date assessed to show up. So Control and S on the keyboard. No, sorry. Control and Z on the keyboard undoes that. And the last step is to add the date, so it just undoes that, but everything else stays the same. So that's beautiful. That's what I wanted. Okay, so now when I type in yes into this box here, oops, that didn't work. Where did my Y go? Yes, there we go. And my date appears in this box here. Now, at the moment, I can't reformat this because whoever wrote the script has put it so there's a little apostrophe at the beginning. I'm sure that's useful for some reason. I don't know why. It's not useful for me. So I'm going to remove that so that I can reformat um, the date. And there is already some formatting on this cell, so it'll change it as soon as I get that right. So to edit the script, you need to just click on Tools again, and now you're going to go to the Script Manager, which allows you to manage any of the scripts that are currently running on your spreadsheet. So I've got this on edit one that I've just installed. So I'm going to click on Edit, and it's a very, very quick... Um, update. I know nothing about scripting. I found this um, in about five seconds. If you just look at the bottom here, last cell, set value, um, it's actually telling it here to add an apostrophe, then the date. Well, I don't want the apostrophe, so I'm going to delete that. And then file, save. Okay, that'll now save that script. I can close it. And now when I update this cell again, so I'm going to go back to no, and it'll change because I've done an update. There we go. July the 9th, 2012. Bosh. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you want to move the date around, there are obviously lots of different workarounds for it, but generally, if you want this to work simply, plan to have your, your timestamp in whichever is the last cell um, on, on your last column, and it'll be dead straightforward. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, um, but more importantly share this to other people that don't know um, because it took me a couple of days to work this out, whereas if this video had been around it would have taken me minutes. Uh, thanks for watching.